if you want to fulfill your purpose do not just be excited and happy that now you are working in purpose there are many of you today that are really relevant many of you today you have discovered your calling in god you have but you are working in purpose you are making impact tremendously well i need to let you understand that the same way you go up you can come down i assure you greatness is cheap if you can be selfless enough but by the time you rise the same way you rise you can fall in fact sometimes it's better you don't go up because when you go up the falling of a great man is a falling indeed you must understand that if you want to continue to walk in purpose you must embrace the mystery of prayer the mysterious secret of prayer man will always remain a sealed book needing to be unsealed we are a compendium of seals god have locked us with so much seals we can never be able to be revealed until we pray everywhere you are today if you are truly working in purpose is because you have prayed or somebody has prayed for you if you want to continue in purpose never underestimate the power of prayer anyone that trivialize prayer will always crash in life why i told you the devil has never been a bearer of good news devil will always come after you and when the devil come after you sometimes your good english may not deliver you your exegesis your knowledge of scriptures your rhema your revelation your hebrew and greek may fly off the window you must understand that sometimes you will combine you have to do what i call combine service combine prayer combine fasting combine studying combine giving you must combine everything if you must rise you must understand that one secret one ingredient is not enough no i believe that any believer that has challenge with prayer fasting studying will fail you will backslide it's just a matter of time these are the things that watch money call the normal christian life the normal christian life till today we are still arguing the body of christ should we pray more should we study more should we fast more why are we asking those questions what is the template given to the apostles of those times the christianity in those times what do we see we see them pray we see them sing we see them give we see them study why can't we continue the same pathway must you choose one when was the last time you make soup with only maggi when was the last time you make soup with only onion when was the last time you cook only one meal and eat for the next 200 days no you will never do that why because no ingredient is good enough one to serve the purpose you must ensure that you eat balanced diet for you to grow as a result of that you must combine all truly without prayer you may never fulfill the purpose and actualize your destiny in god because of spiritual warfare you must learn also to maintain your strength in prayer one of the greatest security you can have spiritually is not knowledge it's your prayer life your prayer life is an asset guarded with the whole of your life there is a reason why the devil is always after the prayer life of people many people that became great failed the day they stopped praying many people that went up went up by prayers they went down when they stopped praying prayer is actually like the fuel that helps you to continue to rise yet you will balance it with many things but maintain the culture of prayer i don't know about you no matter the mountain of influence you are sent to when you don't pray those mountains will swallow you and when those mountains swallow you you become a disgrace to the kingdom of heaven also you must learn how to manage success if not success can be a distraction i have never seen a great man that is too successful enough that does not want to succeed again no in success i call it the bondage of greatness every great man want to become greater dangote still want to become great oye depo is still building capacity ia deboe is not planning to rest kumui is not planning to rest adam elsa is not planning to rest joshua sama is not planning to rest Mike Yoropo is not planning to rest. Lawrence Oyo is not planning to rest. Theophilus Sunday is not planning to rest. 
Victor Lindsay is not planning to rest. Babs is not planning to rest. Gideon Doma is not planning to rest. You are planning to rest. Do you now discover that you that have not even achieved anything yet? You have already planning to rest. You are planning to stop when many great men have never stopped. I need you to understand that greatness is never enough. No. You can never, never come to a point where you feel that you are great enough and you want to stop. No. The day you stop, that day you begin to go down. Let me tell you the truth. This is our life. Being great is your life. You will remain like that till you die. We are supposed to continue even unto death. I need you to understand. Oedipo says something very profound. He says spiritual vacation is dangerous. No man go on spiritual vacation and remain the same. You will backslide. When great men went for war, David remained in the palace. And it was because he was in the palace as the king of Israel. He was supposed to be in the field. How can the king of Je Jeshuron not be in the, in the field, leading an army to war? He remained in the palace. And that was how he saw Bathsheba batting. And while she was beating, he defiled her and demanded that the husband be killed. That is what you will do when you go on vacation. Many believers today, you see, immediately when they decide to rest, that is how the devil caught them. Devil is not resting. Why do you want to rest? The Bible said, do not be slothful in business, but fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. You will never come to a point where you rest in this. You continue. You continue. I assure you, whether you like it or not, you might have heard people tell you that if the Lord said they should stop this, they will stop. It's true. It's a good statement to make, but the Lord will never tell you that. I have never seen anybody, the Lord, tell him to stop doing anything. It's a lie. Why? There is more nations to conquer. There is more things to do. There will always be a demand in the kingdom. The goal is that until the entire nation is filled with the knowledge of God, as the glory of the Lord covers, that knowledge has not covered, and there are no too many men that are representing the Lord. You are not yet about to expire. The Lord will always continue to need you. And that is why one of our greatest challenges right now is mentoring, guiding, discipleship, to bring men into maturity so that we cannot just only be few a supermen. No, we need many more. An average of us is decaying daily. I believe in the realm of immortality. But whether you like it or not, time is going to come. Whether caught up in the spirit or whatever, we are going to leave this earth realm and we are going to leave people in this place. As long as people are going to remain here, those people, if they are not strong in themselves, there will be a challenge. So we don't rejoice in, in numbering. We rejoice in the strength. The strength of one man can be enough an army, a solution to the Philistine. We must understand that now is the time that you and I stand up and begin to do the apostolic functioning and the requirement of the fivefold ministry. Equipping the saint unto maturity. That they come into maturity so that the saint can do the working of the ministry. Ask me now. Can the saint in our church now do the work of the ministry? No. An average saint in the church does not even know his purpose. Talk more of how to work in his purpose. Talk more of how to work in his calling. That means we are failed as the equipers. We are failed as the master builder. Many of our pastors now focus so much on mundane things. Focus on how much more they can get from ministers. Get from the souls of men. They spend the souls of men to make money. Instead of us to spend the money we have today to advance the cause of the kingdom. Right now, an every believer in our church does not know God. And we are happy. And we rejoice that we have number. That is good. But in the day we are taken away from the sin, the church has failed. So the goal now is for us to ensure that we equip as much people as possible. Because you can never go on vacation the way we are now. It's impossible. And that is why everyone making that statement that God will tell you to stop. God will never tell you to stop. God will tell you to do more. Nobody can go on vacation. We need more men. I desire, it is my desire that the redeemed do not just have one million sitter auditorium, but they should have five million sitter auditorium. If they can have one billion, they should have. There are so many unbelievers upon the face of the earth right now. And there are so many believers that don't know the Lord. So it's high time that we do not just have the auditorium, but we equip them to come into maturity. So whatsoever you have to do, you have to do. Check all through your region. How many believers are effective? Many are not. We have believers, so many, 
many of them have not come to become living witness many don't even understand their calling many don't even know how to work in purpose so the lord will never tell you to rest at all at all no man has ever rested since i have observed all of them that have tried to rest they backslide if you are planning to rest happy backsliding but i assure you the only way you can rest is to retreat the bible says, they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength and mount up with wings it is the desire of god to renew our strength like the eagle and give us the ability to mount up with wings you must understand that in this kingdom the only way you rest is to retreat you retreat and re-strategize and refresh yourself again and gain new strength from the lord every great man must learn not to let success enter his head you must understand that overtaking is allowed god has a replacement for every one of us yes it's true people cannot be easily despised but let me tell you god is the one that makes great men a man that god helps is always better than a man that helps himself god is still helping men you may never know recently i began to take a study on the men that god is rising i saw so many men and i felt very comforted because i know there is hope for our nation you must understand that no matter how we do right now god is equipping people it's also your responsibility to do your best to equip more god is still encountering many god is still recruiting many young voice so you must be able to understand that we don't have to let success enter our head no as much successful as you are continue to do more continue to do more there is more land to conquer there is more nations to conquer i assure you sometimes when i begin to go into those rural interior villages to do retreat and outreaches i discover that there are so many people that don't know god there it will amaze you that with all our social media media influences there are many people that do not know the lord and we say we are taking over i assure you we have been taking over we must be able to understand that right now Take a census in your city. An average city may have 1 million people. The greatest of the church there gather 10,000 people. Out of 1 million people, an average church there should gather 100,000 people. That's a tight of it. We have still failed. An average church cannot have 10,000 people. And yet you have millions of people roaming about the street. And we say we are taking over. We have not taken over. And you want to go on vacation. Why? When you go on vacation, we will lose the remaining 10,000 in the church. And members will become more carnal. So now is the time for us to continue. Let the sources not enter our head. Let the car, let the house, let the money, let, the, let those things not enter our head. We need to conquer more. There is more need to conquer. The goal is not the house or the car. You can have 10,000 houses, 10,000 cars. These are the things that carnal people have. There is a man named Sultan of Brunei. I don't think there is any minister that have as much car as that man as much money as much as that man yes we have but let me tell you the truth there are men that have acquired this in the flesh their life may not be relevant in the heavens everything they do today when they die they will only be the one to be remembered and no matter how they do it the kingdom of god is not advanced they do not bring benefit to the kingdom you that are living your life right now how does your life bring benefit to the kingdom you must ensure that in your success the kingdom of god also advanced and as long as the kingdom of god is advancing you may never be satisfied they have bonked did and left or a robot did and left catching command did and left if you know the tremendous thing these people did during their time god in lindsay smith will go sword jaco john g lee william j simon amy simple fashion maria woodward eater Billy Graham, Max Monroe, these are powerful men that lived, did their best and went. During their times, it looks as though Jesus will come. During their time, it looks as though there is no hope again. During their time, it looks as though they have taken over. Uh, immediately when they do and go, their churches need revival. Bessie Daosa, Ayo Babalola, all the mighty things they did after they left, the churches begin to lose those heritages. There is so much work need to be done. No one is permitted to go on vacation. Don't be emotional about going on vacation. Ensure the Lord is the one that tells you. I know a lot of people that say they want to shut down. They shut down, we'll never see them again. You think it's foolishness when you see Oedipo still continuing. You think it's foolishness when you see Salman continuing, Adam continuing. You think it's foolishness when you see all these great men continuing. No, it's because spiritual vacation is dangerous. You must understand if you must rest, rest retreating. Ensure that your gun is with you. Ensure you are doing some underground work. Ensure you are still equipping. No one rest in this. You can never rest. Don't let success enter your head. You have not done enough. Calm down. There's still much to be done. Everything you have today, you can still do more, at least for the kingdom of God. 
You must learn to manage your success and don't let your success distract you. Sometimes the enemy of our advancement is our success. Okay? You must always learn to remain humble. Many people, the reason why they don't fulfill destiny is because they, they are not humble. Uzziah was a king that God helped marvelously well. After God helped him, he became proud and arrogant. God brought him down. Every great man that you see today up, I assure you, he didn't start proud. Even if they are proud, they started very humble. They were very humble. But there are people that were nothing. God lifted them up. When they went and became proud, God took away his strength from them. You must understand that one of the easiest ways for you to fulfill destiny is to remain humble. You must remain humble to the end. God will always resist the proud, but he will give grace to the humble. Humility is your ability to be available for those who cannot reward you. Many of us do not know and remember where we begin from. Men and women were the ladders that help us go up. We cannot neglect those people. No matter how great I am in this life, I'm trying my possible but which is very hard to ensure I still maintain relationship with people that cannot reward me. Because a lot of times it's hard to do that. But these are things that will make you remain humble. Because time is going to come when you don't have to respond to many people and nothing will happen. But let me tell you the truth. Remember where you begin from. You need to be able to push others also. We call this the prime of greatness. Your ability to be able to support others within your local sphere of influence. Oye Depo may not be able to come to your state, but you are there as a great man, at least celebrated within your region. Lay your hands towards some few, lift them up, encourage that person. Do your own support. Try your possible best. You are contributing your own quarter. Oye Depo may be great. The person in your locality may never know him. He may never even believe that he is great. But he believes you are. Can you be available for the person? Be humble enough. Always realize there is more. There is always more. Then, continue in your genuine love for God and humanity. Many people begin loving God. Many people begin loving humanity. But later on, they switch to loving money and loving all kinds of affluence. These things are good, but they have the ability to tempt your genuine seeking and pursuit for God. And sometimes we get distracted. And fulfilling purpose become a mirage. You must ensure that you continue in your genuine love for God and genuine love for humanity. Also, continue in your genuine motive to advance the kingdom of God. The kingdom is your goal. The kingdom is your goal. You cannot be advancing yourself. No. I know it is impossible for you to bring glory to the kingdom and you yourself not be glorified. No one stands with the Lord and is not being known. But I assure you, the kingdom is your goal. All of us began loving the Lord. All of us began with a genuine motive to serve the kingdom and advance the kingdom. So we have to be able to understand that we must continue our thought if we must fulfill our calling and our purpose in life. Being selfless in service is one of also the key. Service is greatness. The Son of Man came to serve, not to be served. We must ensure that proud and arrogance is the key precursor for the fall of men. Every great man fall because of pride and arrogance. Many great men are falling because of pride and arrogance. A time come they feel it's not by prayer. A time come they feel it's not by honor. A time come they feel it's not by this, it's not by that, it's not by this. Everything that took you up, you are the one destroying those breaches. In God's generals, I heard of a revivalist that truly began tremendously in God. Began so early but all of a sudden, he himself went on a vacation. And a woman took him out of ministry and began to make him right against everything he, was, he has once upon a time believed. It is possible for you to go up and use your hand to destroy the ladder again. So you must understand that you must be selfless in service. And learn to always continually deploy your value and talent and ability in serving the kingdom. You must be focused. You must be consistent. Consistency is key. Anyone that fulfills his vision, everyone that comes to fulfill his purpose in life is a man of focus and consistency. Your vision must be guided by a goal. You must set goals and achieve them. Anytime a man wants to actually fulfill his purpose in life, he must learn to continually set goals and achieve them. Visions must be guided by the Lord. 
Your goals must be guided by the Lord, but you must set them and achieve them. Your direction must be guided by prayer. You must ensure that if you must fulfill your purpose, you must be prayerfully guiding your direction. Don't just move, pray and inquire of the Lord. Don't just do a thing, seek the vision of the Lord. You must ensure that your direction in life is guided by the Lord. Because many great men have taken the wrong step and today their life has become a story of untold pain. Many people have come down as they went up. You must also be able to continually understand the laws and the principles and the instructions that took you up and abide them to buy them. Many more times, what takes you up will require to keep you and more. You don't neglect what took you up. That's why many people think they neglect the basics. No, you keep to the basics as you keep on advancing. Knowledge is key. Ignorance is a hindrance. You must always understand that knowledge is key in your fulfilling, in your fulfilling the purpose of God. And every ignorance is a hindrance. Then, learn to always apply your heart unto wisdom in solving problems. Ensure you are not willing to give up. You can never win over a man that is not willing to give up. There is no man that has ever been won that refused to give up. When you refuse to give up, you cannot be won upon. Ensure you keep on doing what you find joy doing and keep doing it again and again. Work on your vision. If you don't have one, I say serve other people. Serve other people's vision until the Lord gives you yours. Don't work alone. Build others. Build a team. Advance together. Don't die idle. Find something you love doing that is worth doing and keep on doing it. It may be a passion. Continue to do it and ensure that passion is godly. Every great man you see today has subscribed to a pathway in light and he has abided to it. Never come to a point where you neglect these few things. If you want to continue to work and fulfill your purpose in life, abide by these few things. I assure you, when you continually equipping others and you are willing never to give up, you may begin small, but you will never remain small. Everything big started small. Everybody has a time where he began. In fact, people started, there was a time people started from zero, from ground level zero, where there was nobody. And today, here they are. Everything you see today was built tentatively. A lot of times, you must build a ladder. You don't just buy it, you build it from grassroots. There are times when you have to equip. Jesus Christ equipped the apostles to become who they are. And they made us who we are. You must also be able to start from grassroots a lot of time. It is my desire that each and every one listening to me here will grow onto maturity, fulfilling their vision and dreams in life. That you will not just begin and just end. I have a lot of friends that we began together today. I don't know where they are. Many of them began working in purpose, but they did not remain working in purpose. Some went on vacation. Some left chasing money. Some left chasing women. Some left to go and marry. Some left to go for a business. Some left and took anything that looks like secondary. And today, their life is not remembered. You must understand that you must be focused. You must be consistent. There is no one you see today that is relevant in God that has not remained for long. At least an average of 10 years. You must remain consistently for many years. I remember many years ago. Many years ago, Apostle Sarah came to our school. He told us that all this prayer we are praying, he will never know we can truly pray until in the next 10 years. We will now know the people that can truly continue to pray. Those ones are the ones that know the power of prayer. That those are or those ones are the ones that will actually be able to understand what prayer is and also be able to speak about prayer. I assure you, most of us that we are in that meeting right now, we are not up to five that are remaining. The truth is this, whether you like it or not, you can begin together. But like Oedepo said, destiny is like stock exchange. Levels change per day. That you are classmate today does not mean you'll be classmate forever. Because like the computer reading in heaven, everything is changing every day. Another person is making an investment and then making it. Many people are sleeping right now, but you are equipping, you are learning. Many people are not doing anything right now, you are learning. You can never be in the same level with them. What distinguishes us most times is our strength of prayer and the knowledge we have. You can decide to combine both. You can decide to both pray and decide to both know. 
and that is what we are striving right now we need strong men that can both know and can both pray and i assure you that laziness must be taken away no man has fulfilled his destiny without knowing how to summarize his sleep you must learn to summarize your sleep you cannot be sleeping every day no reduce those hours of sleep if you truly strive for greatness and fulfill your purpose in life sleeping of six hours is too much for you i think seven hours is even too much if you truly ensure that before you go to bed you must have achieved something do your best and continue never give up when you fail rise again when you fail rise again and the lord will see you through